Hi everyone, it's Leslie Oman from Hungry Heavy Crafts and today I have another card featuring the Chibitronics LEDs which are fun paper circuits and little LED lights that are so small but quite easy to use that you can put them into your projects to really create an impact. For today's card I'm going to be doing quite a bit of distress ink colouring. So I'm starting off with some distress watercolour cardstock and first of all I'm going to cut out a frame using the large and small stitched rectangle dies from Lawn Fawn. I'm going to take this inside panel and I will keep the frame to use later on and I'll keep the dies together because I'll actually cut out a couple of other frames as well. Next for the inside piece I'm going to use the simple stitched hillside borders to create a little hillside. Now this larger piece from the inside panel is what I'm going to, to use to create a background scene, a bit like a starry night sky. So I'm using some different colours of distress inks and smooshing them onto my craft mat, then spraying that with water. Then I can take my cardstock and push it into all those puddles of water. And this will make my card pick up some beautiful soft colours of ink. I'm going to do that twice to start off with, drying the cardstock each time in between and then I'm going to do it exactly the same um, procedure again but instead using some of the darker tones like chip sapphire and black suit. Now the reason I've done it with different colours is it gives the card a lot more life so now when I come in with my blending tool with the black suit and chipped sapphire ink and blending foam. It gives the background a lot more texture. It's not as flat, you can see the colors behind. To add a little more interest, I'm using a paintbrush to splatter some more of the colored ink onto the project. And then to create little stars in my night sky, I've taken some gesso, mixed a little bit of water with it and used one paintbrush to hit against another to create these beautiful little splatters that looks like stars. For the hillside I'm using some peel paint and crushed olive inks first of all and then I'm going to go in again over the top with some black soot just to tone that down so it looks more like a nighttime scene. So now I have both of these panels all inked up, I'm going to move over to my stamped image. I'm stamping these cute little bunnies onto some Nina Solar White cardstock and I'm going to use the coordinating die to cut that out. To colour in the bunnies I'm using once again my Distress Inks and I've just smooshed that on against um, some scratch, some scrap card um, packaging so that I have a white um, background underneath the slick surface. Can then use a water brush to pick up the ink and paint in the same way you would with paints. I wanted a brown bunny and a grey bunny so and I'm not being very fussy with these guys because the main event of this card is really the the light up action. Now I had this cute shooting star stamp and I thought that that would look awesome to feature the LED so first I'm going to prep my background with a powder tool and then stamp the little shooting star and some other stars using some Versamark ink and then I'll emboss them with some white embossing powder. Now I'm going to use this Stargazer's watercolour palette to colour in these stars. It's a pearlescent paint and um, I'm using white for the stars except for the shooting star is going to be yellow and I think this is going to look beautiful when the LED shines through the light will pick up and reflect off all those pearlescent crystals. So I've taken another rectangular piece of card and I'm going to use that to mount and to make my circuit. So I'm taking a paper piercing tool to mark a hole in my white cardstock exactly where I want my LED to be and also where I want the battery or the button to be. And I usually mark these onto the card with a pencil just to help me. These are the LEDs that I'm using today. I've got the pack that has red, yellow and blue and I'm using the yellow one for my little star. Now to create a switch for the battery, I've taken a post-it note here 
and you need to fold up the corner and this is because you need a piece of um a piece of the copper tip on one side of the battery and then the other side of the led needs to connect to the top of the battery so with the post-it note tape or sorry post-it note paper or even just a piece of copy paper or something thin you can fold over the edge and then this pencil line here when i fold over the, the corner here it will go on the top of the battery and complete the circuit so this is the copper tape that you get with gbtronics just going to stick it down and I like to burnish it with a bone folding tool just to make sure once again that it's stuck nicely. I tend to mark onto the card the little corner where my LED will sit because the first time I did this I put my copper strips too far apart and I had to move them. So now I can stick my LED on top once again give it make sure it's pressed down nicely and one important tip is that on the LED, one side is marked with a minus sign and the other with a plus. And this is really important because this tells you which way around your battery should go. So I've marked on the top and the bottom on the post-it um, note there, which way around I want my battery to go. And you can test it out and that works fine. You can see how that lights up when I press down on the top of the, the, the green paper. To hold my battery in place, I'm using a few little glue dots and now I need to raise up the area around the battery so that the switch only turns on when you press it. You don't want that copper tape touching the top um, when it's in transit, for example. I've taken some leftover like excess or surround pieces from my foam dots and trimmed it out so that it fits perfectly around my little battery. And I'm going to double that up for, with two layers. So this means whenever I fold this post-it paper over the top now it sticks to the top of the foam and it's raised up and protected from the battery but I just simply have to press it to turn the light on. So now all I need to do is add two layers of foam tape around the rest of this panel and I can move over to cutting out the inside of this star and I'm just going to use my craft knife to do that. So when I put it onto my card and assemble the card and the button is pressed that you can definitely see the little LED shining through. Before I assemble the rest of the card, I'm going to stamp and emboss my greeting onto the hillside. And then I can take a side folding note card and assemble the card. Using those stitched rectangle dies, I've cut out a piece of craft foam with some stick it adhesive on it. And I'm sticking that onto the card blank and then putting some sticky tape in the middle so that I can take this circuit panel and slot it right into the middle here. And because the frame is exactly the same size, it just slots in perfectly. I'd also cut out some of the same size frames using some thick cardstock. So I'm sticking them together with a glue pen and I can adhere that onto the top of the craft foam. And then I can stick my nighttime sky panel right on top here. Now I was just about to stick my grass on when I realized you could see the green neon shining through from the post-it note. So I've just taken some scratch cardstock here, cut it into a little rectangle and I'm just gonna tuck that in underneath my nighttime sky so if you can see through the, if the little tiny gap, it's white rather than neon green. Now I want the outside frame to have the same texture as my cardstock. So I'm taking that original frame from the very first die cut that I did from the watercolor, Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, sticking that on and then I can secure my little bunnies with a glue dot. And that's it, that's the final card. When you press the bunny, the little light in the star shines. Thanks so much for watching the video today. Please do give me a thumbs up if you liked it and hop on over to Hungry Heavy Craft to see more of my work. Have a lovely day and happy crafting everybody. Bye!